What do you have, Missy? What do you have? Huh? Can I see? Can I see? Oh, is that rock for you? Is that rock for you, huh? Okay, well, oh, is this one for me? Oh, thank you so much. That's such a nice rock. Okay, well, can we get started with work? Can we get started working so we can get home? Do I get this one too? Okay, all right, well, let's, let's get started, okay? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So as you can see, today I have my lovely supervisor with me. You want to wave hi, Eleanor? There she is. Uh, and behind me, you can see we have the skid loader up here. Uh, I got a load of stone delivered today. Uh, I would like to get it spread in the driveway. Uh, unfortunately, Rachel is working until a little bit later this evening. So I'm on dad duty, which means I got to figure out a way to continue to get work done up at the property for our new house so that this sweet little princess can get her much deserved new bedroom sometime in the next three to four years. Uh, but, you know, you got to make do with with the time that you have so we got this sweet little baby harness uh, I don't know if the brand names on the front if it is you can check it out they're pretty sweet uh, I used it in the last video if you remember her being the, in the skid litter with me the first time um, you know she seemed to really enjoy it I brought headphones up for her this time though the skid loader tends to put out uh, some lower frequencies and we want to make sure her hearing is protected from that. So uh, I'm going to get her in the headphones and uh, we'll take you down to the pile of stone that we have and uh, get the camera set up and I'll show you guys what we're doing. Okay, we got the air conditioning turned on. She's throwing her headphones off so we'll try to We'll try to get those back on, but really, I don't think the uh, I don't think the sound in here is all that bad. Starting off by, sorry if that shook the camera. There, uh, we're starting off by taking some 2B modified with dust down. Uh, I like to try to take one or two buckets down every time I'm here with the skid loader. Uh, this is just going to help kind of keep the 2B limestone down that we laid down on the fabric uh, in one of the last videos. You can check that out here. Uh, it's just going to help keep that nice and tight as we're driving across it and, uh, you know, just make for a nicer road. So here we are down where we're going to be building our house. Uh, I got the rest of the topsoil cleared. Uh, Rachel and I ended up moving the house um, 
probably 10 or 15 feet closer to the road to help with the elevation change uh, for the garage area, driveway, turnaround, all that fun stuff. Um, so we are down here and we have this big giant pile of number three limestone. Now, if you guys remember from the previous video on why I like limestone, they're big, they're jaggedy, they lock together real nice, they self-compact as you drive over top of them, which is why I have 2B limestone here, and then it changes into number threes. Now, this is the, what, how should we phrase this? The temporary, permanent temporary driveway. Um, you know, realistically, I don't see us concreting the driveway for another five or six years. Um, you know, obviously we want to get the house livable and we can have a gravel driveway for a little bit, but we have this fabric here. Uh, we've been working our way here. Now the driveway does lean a little bit more than I would like, uh, downhill. So I'm going to use some of this to beef up this side to help level it out so that that way when we have the pumper truck here, the concrete trucks pulling in and out you know they're not feeling top heavy wanting to roll over so we'll build up this side and then I scraped up a bunch of dirt you know that nice fill dirt and uh, built this up over here so we'll roll this fabric out more and uh, hopefully get this stoned up to about this area here that way we can kind of keep chipping away with this driveway what do you say Eleanor you say hi? You saying, hey, get to work, Dad? It's almost dinner time? Okay, I gotta get to work. So, set the cameras up and, and get going.
So now as you can see, uh, I can't remember if I said it earlier, uh, whenever I was digging the topsoil out, like I said, we, we decided to push the house up the hill a little bit more. The turnaround area in front of our garages should be somewhere in this area here. Uh, just figured that hillside would help with that as well as our front door, which is going to be somewhere here. Um, I did dig down and get quite a bit of good fill dirt that was full of shale and rock as you can see right there and built this area up and leveled it off just so that i didn't have to repeat what i had to do over here which was use um probably a good 15 to 20 ton of stone just on this one side oh hold on eleanor uh to build this up like i said i wanted to make that a little bit more level so that as we have the bigger trucks coming through uh they don't feel like they're going to tip over uh it felt really good and solid out here on all this fill I don't see this ever being an issue because I put it in uh, about four to five inches at a time, flattened it out, tracked it in real good, put another four or five inches on top, flattened it out, tracked it in. So this stuff is pretty good and compact. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of settling, but that's to be expected. 
Uh, once we get going and digging and start digging the hole, I'm going to have more fill to kind of taper that off so it's not a, you know, a little cliff side like that. Uh, so that'll really help with that. And then uh, I'll be able to shoot my elevations as well. So I'll know, you know, I, there's a good chance I'm going to have to pull this stone back maybe 10 or 15 feet, build this up higher to help gradually get us up to our driveway. That is why I said this is a, uh, what did I say? It was a, a per, a temporary, permanent temporary. Um, I know I'm gonna have to work on this. Uh, I'm just trying to do it a little bit at a time as I can. So if there's any excavation experts out there that are saying, hey, Steve, you're doing that completely wrong. I probably am, and I am probably aware of that. Um, but with the fabric being down there we should be able to save a lot of that limestone uh, it's not going to get pushed into the dirt and we're not going to lose it so if i do need to scrape that off and adjust something you know we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there but i was actually getting ready to call it a day but eleanor said hey dad you have a big pile of dirt up behind the lead shed don't you want to go spread that and i said i guess so so eleanor is making me work more yeah you're doing that Yep, own it. So we're gonna run up and spend a couple minutes spreading that dirt, making uh, behind the lead shed look uh, a lot nicer. If you remember from the previous video here, I kind of rutted it up a little bit. So we're gonna go up, get that taken care of, and uh, then it'll probably be dinner time. So we'll see you guys up top. Okay, so I just wanted to point this out. Uh, spread that pile of topsoil that I had cleared from over here. Um, now, I mean, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but there's still quite a bit of moisture in there. This is why we always remove all of the topsoil before we pour any concrete. Uh, topsoil is basically a sponge, which is why it's really nice for growing grass. Um, because it holds moisture in really long um, You know the surface might dry out But for the most part if you have four or five inches of topsoil You can go a couple weeks without rain and the dirt underneath, you know, two three four inches down is still going to be pretty Pretty moist pretty damp um, So it did make this a little bit tricky to try to spread and level out um, You know, I got it pretty decently flat but you know there are also big clumps of grass mixed in with all this topsoil which makes it a little bit more difficult but regardless we got it cleaned up a little bit um, once this dries out a little bit more we'll be able to go ahead and kind of fine-tune it in here um, but Eleanor can I be done working now yeah are you saying bye we can go home I'm, I'm finally allowed to eat I haven't eaten yet today you're good you're good with every okay my supervisor's telling me that's going to be good for today. Um, you know, obviously worked for my dad all day today, then rushed home, dropped our tax stuff off so that that can be filed. And then Eleanor and I came up to work on the driveway a little bit. Um, that went great, you know, spreading gravel with her in this harness. I feel so unbelievably lucky that Eleanor is such a well-behaved little girl. 
Um, she pretty much just chills and hangs out anytime we try to do something. So whether it's playing in the living room or being strapped to me in a machine, she's awesome. So it helps me able, you know, it, it helps me get stuff done around the property and keep pushing forward. I know it might not seem like a lot, but that was on the list of something to do so that we can start, like I said, getting bigger trucks in there, bigger machines in there, safer for them to come in there. Spreading the dirt was just a little added bonus. That didn't need done, but you know, I really enjoy spending time with Eleanor, whether it's like I said, in the living room during the winter or just in a machine with me. Uh, she's great, so always happy to have her along. So for now, you want to give them the rundown or you want me to? You tired? Okay. So for now, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. I also want to give you guys a, a huge thank you for supporting this channel and helping it grow into what it is. Uh, I know we're not a crazy huge channel, and I've said it in previous videos that I... I, I know I'm going to be pouring concrete for the rest of my life. I don't see this as something that's going to replace that. Um, I make good money where I'm at. I have fun where I'm at. I like doing what I'm doing. But if you guys enjoy this and you enjoy following us along through this whole process, you know, the property maintenance, the shooting videos, I enjoy making videos, so I'm happy to do that. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for giving me the support you have whether it was tuning in and checking out the videos to see what we're up to or even popping over to our new store on etsy uh, which you can find that link for in the description below and taking a look at what we have i appreciate everybody's comments and feedbacks i appreciate you know the people that yeah. have yeah and say thank you yeah i thank you guys that you know those of you ha that have chosen to buy stuff and i just i i cannot thank you guys as you guys enough for all, all of the support you have given us so thank you guys and uh we'll see you next time